Picture this, a tortoise and a hare, not in a race this time, but in a test of wealth building. Who do you think will come out on top? Welcome to the world of finance, a realm where the story of the tortoise and the hare isn't just a children's fable, but a tale of two financial strategies, one slow and steady like our friend the tortoise, the other fast and furious like the hare. Let's talk about the tortoise, the embodiment of slow money. This isn't about getting rich quick. It's a strategy for long-lasting wealth, where the journey to prosperity is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about building a financial fortress, brick by brick, decision by decision. Imagine a diligent bricklayer, working day in, day out, placing each brick with precision, taking care to ensure the foundation is solid, the walls are strong. That's the essence of slow money, making strategic financial decisions and investments over time. Consider the example of Warren Buffett, one of the world's wealthiest individuals. He didn't become a billionaire overnight, it took him over 25 years to reach that status. Or take the case of Ronald Redd, a janitor and gas station attendant who, upon his death, left behind an estate worth $8 million, accumulated over decades of frugal living and wise investing. These individuals, and many more like them, are testament to the power of slow money. They demonstrate that the longer it takes to accumulate wealth, the more likely it is to be sustainable. It's a testament to the patience, discipline and foresight required to build a financial fortress that can weather any storm. So in this modern day financial tale, it's the tortoise with its slow and steady approach that comes out on top. It's not about the quick wins, the get rich quick schemes. It's about the long game, the strategic planning, the wise investments. Just like the tortoise, slow and steady wins the race. Or in this case, builds a financial fortress. Now, let's take a look at the hare. He's all about that fast money, quick leaps to wealth and sprinting to the finish line. Picture this, a regular Joe working nine to five suddenly hits the jackpot. A lottery win, an inheritance, or maybe a lucky investment. Suddenly he's catapulted into the world of the rich and famous. It's like a dream come true, right? Not quite. Fast money, it's like a mirage in the desert of finance. It looks tantalizingly real promising a life of luxury and ease. But once you get close, it often reveals itself to be nothing more than an illusion. Why, you ask? Because without the right mindset and experience, sudden wealth can be as fleeting as a summer's day. Consider the tale of Billy Bob Harrell Jr., a regular guy who hit the jackpot, winning a whopping $31 million in the Texas lottery. It seemed like a dream come true, but in less than two years, Billy Bob's life had spiraled into a nightmare. He'd made ill-advised investments, gave away large sums of money, and was eventually left with nothing but regret and a mountain of debt. A tragic end to a seemingly fairy tale story. Or let's take the case of Viv Nicholson, a British woman who, back in the 60s, won a substantial sum in the football pools. She famously vowed to spend, 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 and spend she did. Designer clothes, luxury cars, wild parties, but without a sustainable plan, her wealth evaporated, leaving her bankrupt and struggling. These stories are not unique. They're a stark reminder that fast money, without the right knowledge and mindset, can lead to financial downfall. It's not about how quickly you get the money, but how well you manage it. Fast money is tempting, no doubt. It promises a shortcut to the finish line. But remember, the hare might have sprinted, but he didn't win the race. The tortoise did by being slow, steady, and strategic. The hare might sprint to the finish line, but without the proper strategies in place, he's more likely to trip and fall. Now that we've seen both sides of the coin, let's delve into the strategies that make the tortoise's slow money approach win the day. Think of it this way, the hare with its fast money may sprint ahead and even enjoy the high life for a while, but the tortoise with its slow and steady money continues to plod along, consistently adding to its wealth. It's not as glamorous, but it's far more sustainable. Why? Because the tortoise has built a solid financial fortress that could withstand any storm. So how does one become a financial tortoise? The first step is mastering financial literacy. It's about understanding how money works and how to make it work for you. It's about knowing the difference between an asset and a liability, understanding the power of compound interest and learning how to diversify investments. Now let's talk about smart investments. This is where the tortoise really shines. While the hare may be tempted to put all its eggs in one basket, hoping for a quick win, the tortoise knows better. 
It understands that spreading its investments across various sectors and asset classes reduces risk and increases the potential for steady long-term growth. And speaking of long-term, let's not forget the importance of planning. The tortoise doesn't just live in the now. It's always thinking about the future. It invests for retirement, sets up an emergency fund, and even plans for its offspring's education. It's a long game, but the tortoise knows that the rewards are worth the wait. So. You might be wondering, how can I start building my financial fortress? Well, here are some actionable tips. First, educate yourself. There are countless resources available online and in libraries to help you understand the world of finance. Dive in. Second, start investing. You don't need a huge sum to begin. Start small and let compound interest do its magic. Third, plan for the future. Consider your long-term goals and start making financial decisions that support those goals. Fourth, be consistent. Wealth building is not a one-time event. It's a process that requires regular, consistent effort. Fifth, cultivate the right mentality. Remember, it's not about getting rich quickly, it's about building wealth that lasts. And finally, be patient. Like the tortoise, understand that it may take time to see significant results. But also, like the tortoise, know that the journey is worth it. Remember, getting rich might be a process, but staying rich requires consistency, informed choices, and a tortoise-like determination. So, you've seen the tortoise and the hare in action. You've seen the fortress built brick by brick. But what's the key to lasting prosperity? Well, it's all about the mindset, the mentality, and the identity you embody when it comes to money. Imagine being handed a million quid right now. Would you splash out on a swanky new car or invest it in a long-term venture? Your answer to this question might just reveal your money identity. You see, both slow and fast money require a sound money identity. It's the compass that guides your financial decisions, the framework that shapes your investment strategies, and the foundation upon which you build your financial fortress. Now, you might be wondering, what is this money identity we're talking about? Well, it's how you perceive money, how you manage it, and most importantly, how you grow it. It's about being a careful custodian of your wealth, not just a spendthrift consumer. But money identity goes beyond just being frugal or extravagant. It's about understanding that wealth is more than just accumulating money. It's about building a fortress that can withstand financial storms. It's about the resilience to bounce back when the economy takes a nosedive and the wisdom to invest in ventures that grow your wealth sustainably, not just quickly. And the key to building a strong money identity? Financial literacy. It's about understanding the world of finance, from the basics of budgeting to the complexities of investing. It's about being able to discern between a risky gamble and a smart investment. It's about knowing when to save, when to spend, and when to invest. In the grand scheme of things, the race to wealth is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about the hare who dashes off towards the finish line only to burn out halfway. It's about the tortoise who plods along steadily, building its wealth brick by brick until it has a formidable fortress that can weather any storm. Lasting prosperity isn't about how quickly you can fill a treasure chest. It's about how well you can build and maintain your financial fortress. So what kind of fortress are you building? So are you ready to be the tortoise or the hare? Are you ready to build your financial fortress? Now that we've journeyed through the world of slow and fast money, the power lies in your hands. Will you build your wealth like a sturdy fortress, brick by brick, or chase the illusion of quick riches? Remember, a flash flood of wealth can be as destructive as it is tempting. It's the steady stream that carves out a Grand Canyon. It's time to apply the lessons you've learned today to your own financial journey. And while you're at it, why not help others on their journey too? Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more wisdom on wealth building. Remember, the race to financial freedom isn't won in a day. It takes time, patience and a good pair of tortoiseshell glasses. Until next time, keep building that fortress.